If you want to grow on YouTube and actually have your videos start ranking high in the search results, then you have to put smart strategy into place. A big part of this is doing SEO and keyword research to ensure that you're optimizing your videos with specific phrases relevant to your content that are highly searched for on YouTube so that the algorithm knows how to correctly push your videos out to the right people. How do you find these highly searched for terms? Well, that's where using a YouTube research tool like vidIQ comes in. On vidIQ, you can do all kinds of YouTube research, everything from your keyword research to competitor analysis, to daily content ideas, to trending video stats, and more. Using a tool like this can seriously be the difference between a channel that flops and never makes it off the ground to a channel that takes off with ease and consistently has breakthrough videos time after time. I would know firsthand because that's what happened with my main channel that I started just over two years ago. I've used vidIQ from the very beginning to optimize my videos to be search-based and found easy easily in the search and that channel has skyrocketed over the past two years and is now up to over 130,000 subscribers and over 5 million views. Now, I don't think that I'm really anything special, but I do think that there was some smart strategy that went into creating and optimizing my videos using the research tool of vidIQ. So I'm excited in today's video to give you a vidIQ tutorial, show you what all you can do with it and my exact process and the way that I use it to grow my channels. Coming up. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If we haven't met yet, I'm Kate. I'm a wife, mom, online business coach, and passive income strategist, and I'm here to help you start and scale your online business so that you can make a full-time income doing what you love. Today we're talking all things YouTube and specifically my favorite YouTube research tool, which is vidIQ. But why do you need a tool like vidIQ? Well, first of all, when you're first starting a YouTube channel and no one really knows about you yet, you haven't really been discovered yet, the key to breaking through that saturation and not having your videos just buried beneath all the other thousands and thousands of videos in your niche is to create search-based content. This means you're creating videos based on a topic or a subject matter that is search-based. It's something that people are already going onto the YouTube platform to search for specifically. So the first step is to create that search-based content, but it'll never be found if you don't know what search terms and phrases to optimize your video title and tags and description with to tell the algorithm that this video is a great match for what that viewer has just typed in. So using a tool like vidIQ will give you all the data, all the insights on what search terms would fit your content well and which ones are highly searched, how much competition there is, and which ones are going to help your content break through and get found easier. Our goal with optimizing this and using smart SEO, which is search engine optimization, is for our videos to be ranking high on the first and second pages of search results when someone types in something into the YouTube search bar. The higher we can get our videos ranking, the better. Like I mentioned before, there is so much you can do on vidIQ. It's not just for SEO and keyword research, so that's a big part of it. You can do a lot of other things like competitor analysis, it'll give you daily content ideas, and just so much more. The sky really is the limit with this kind of tool. So we're about to hop on the computer and walk through the way that I use vidIQ. I'm going to show you how you can use it, the different features, but just so you know, I do have my affiliate link for vidIQ in the description box below if you decide you'd like to try it out, and you can click through after watching this video and give it a try. Okay, so here we are on vidIQ, and this is the dashboard. This is what you'll see when you first log in. So over here on the left, you've got your channel stats. And as you're on YouTube for longer, you're pushing more content out, getting more videos uploaded. vidIQ will learn more about your channel and your content over time and be able to customize and personalize things based on what it knows your channel to be all about. So you've got your channel stats over here. You can also see your subscribers overview as it learns more about your subscribers activity. It'll suggest the best days and times of the week to post based on when most of your subscribers are active on YouTube. We've also got our daily ideas section, which is amazing. This is a great place to come if you're running low on content ideas. We'll come back to that in just a minute. We've got our keyword opportunities here. So based on what it knows my channel to be about, it's suggesting a lot of different Etsy related keyword opportunities because I put out a lot of Etsy content on my main channel. So it's telling me all about what terms would have the most potential for my main channel. And we'll come back and we'll look at the data on this as well, because this is probably where I spend 
the majority of my time on vidIQ. But I did also want to show you if we just scroll down here on the dashboard at the bottom, you can see your top videos from your channel and your top search terms for your channel. So it'll show you the top five videos that are performing the best as well as the number of views, the views per hour and the watch time on that and what top search terms are actually bringing the most people into your channel. So you can see what's working and make data driven decisions to double down on that and continue creating content that's bringing people in. Now, if we open up our keyword research tool, I want to spend the most time on this because this is where we're going to really be able to do some research to figure out how to optimize our videos with highly searched keyword phrases. So before we even type anything into our keyword search here, it's giving me top keyword opportunities. Like I mentioned, it's had enough time to learn all about my channel and show me what might potentially be good ideas, keyword opportunities for me to use in the future. But if I already have an idea of something I want to create, I might just type in the search word that I'm thinking of. So let's say I want to create a video on Canva. I'd go ahead and type in Canva and let's see the data on this search word. So here we've got our meter telling us if this is an overall score of high, medium, low. This will tell us just a quick glance. Is this a good keyword phrase to use? Does it have good potential? We've got high, which is good. Anything in green or this other shade of green is really good. So we can see right off the bat here, the search volume, which is over a million searches per month. This tells us that there are over a million searches for the word Canva on YouTube every month. We want to see that search volume really high. That's a great thing. It'll also tell us our competition. So this is showing us a rating based on how many other creators on YouTube are using this same keyword phrase. And we'd rather have the competition be as low as possible because the lower competition, the more chance we have to break through and be discovered. If the competition is really crazy high, then that means there's a ton of people creating content around that subject using that phrase or that word. And it's going to be harder to break through and not just be buried underneath the thousands of other videos out there. So ideally, we love to see a combination of high search volume and lower competition. Now, this overall score that vidIQ is giving us here is vidIQ's algorithm taking the two of those and combining them and giving us an overall score. So if you don't want to do all the math in your head of trying to figure out the search volume related to the competition, you can just take a quick look at this overall score and vidIQ is telling you overall, this has high potential. Now we've typed in the word Canva and over here we can see related keywords, we can see related questions and matching terms. So the related keywords are any possible keyword suggestions that are going to be related to what we typed in, but they may not be exactly the same. So we've got all of our Canva related keyword phrases and we'll look more at this section in just a minute. But down here we've got Canva related questions. So remember, YouTube is a search engine and people are coming on and typing in specific questions that they need the answer to. So it's great to think of keyword phrases that are phrased as a question, how to get Canva Pro for free, how to use Canva, how to remove background in Canva. For all of these suggestions, it's also showing us the search volume and the overall score right here. If we don't care to look at the numbers. We can always just look at the overall score and look for that green. Anything in green is good to go. Now over here, we've got matching terms. This is similar to related keywords, but the matching terms are going to be terms that actually have the word Canva in them somewhere. So they're matching. If we go back up here to related, we click view all, then we can categorize these results by search volume. We want to see the highest search volume first. So we're going to click on search volume and this will show us highest to lowest. So we see here how to make money online. That's not matching because it doesn't have the word Canva in it specifically, but it's related. Somebody might use Canva to make money online. So these suggestions can give us a way to think out of the box a little bit and to optimize our videos to bring in as many people as possible without just having Canva matching keywords. So we might use a mixture in our tag section, right? We might choose some that are specifically matching with the word Canva in them. And we might choose some that are a little more broad that might have higher search volume, like make money online. Again, over here, we can see the search volume per month, the competition level, and then that overall score. So we like to look for the green here. We see several greens, but this is that other color green, which shows us it's the very highest score. So we might want to pay special attention to this and see what this is. Canva Pro free lifetime. So we might want to figure out kind of what that's referring to. And is there a way that we could create a piece of content around this and use that really good keyword phrase in the title? Remember, whatever keyword phrases we choose with the most potential, we're plugging into the title, the tag section, and we're weaving them into the video description. If we have those matching keyword phrases in all three of those places as much as possible, that gives the algorithm the information it needs to accurately identify that this is what our video is about and bring our video up in the results to people that have typed in that same phrase. Now, one really cool thing you can do here is when you decide 
decide on the keyword phrases you want to use. You can check the ones you decide on from this list and whichever ones you've checked, you can click down here that says copy for tags. You can actually copy your tags that you want from vidIQ and then paste them in your tag section when you're uploading your video, which makes it super easy. Okay, now if we come up here and click on daily ideas, this is another great section that you can make use of on vidIQ. So let's say that you're just kind of coming up dry when it comes to content ideas. You've done a lot of things and you can't really think of anything new or fresh. This will give you personalized and customized daily ideas for your channel based on what it knows your previous content to be all about. And you can either save or dismiss the idea for the future. So if you see down here where it says personalized ideas, you can go through each of these and look at the idea for the title, for the content, and look at the prediction. It'll tell you again if the potential for this is very high that it'll take off or is it high, medium, it will give you what it thinks the prediction for the potential is. Then you would either click this X to dismiss it. If it's something that you don't think is related to your channel or a great idea for your channel, you can dismiss it. Or you can click on this little heart to save it to your saved ideas and come back to it later. Now, the amount of these daily ideas you get depends on what plan you have. If you have the pro plan with vidIQ, you get 10 of these daily ideas. If you have the next one up, which is the boost plan, you get 50 of these per day. So this is an amazing place to come if your creativity is just lacking a little bit, you need a little bit of a boost, a little bit of help thinking of some new content ideas, this can be a great tool to utilize. Now up here, we've got the customized ideas section, which is relatively new at the time of filming this, but you can actually type in a word that you want it to customize around and the AI on vidIQ will use that word and bring up some suggestions based on the word you typed in. So let's say that I wanted to think about something related to digital products. I could type in that phrase, digital products and get customized ideas based around that phrase. So we've got how to create engaging videos for digital products, tips for Etsy sellers, how to create a digital product that engages your target audience, how to make your digital products work for you. So I can see these and again, dismiss or save them. Now in my little tabs up here, I have my saved ideas from the past that I can always refer back to and my dismissed ideas. And the last section I wanna show you in this video, I don't have time to show you everything because there's just so much you can do, but the last part I wanna show you is a really fun one. If you come to competitors, you can actually add competitors of your channel to vidIQ. So you tell vidIQ what channels are your competitors in your same niche so that you can track and compare how how you've been performing compared to the competing channels in your niche. So after adding your competitors, you might select one and select yourself to compare the two channels. You can do this by views, subscribers, how many public videos both channels have released, your average daily views, average subscribers per day, and average public videos per day. And you can do this for the past 30 days, the past 60 days, or the past 12 months. So you're tracking how your channel is performing against your competitors to, again, make some data-driven decisions here. It'll also tell you within the past week or whatever time period you've selected here, what top videos have come out from your competitors and you can compare your top videos to theirs within that same time frame. The amount of competitors you are able to add depends again on which plan you have with vidIQ. The higher the plan, the more competitors you are allowed to add. Okay, so real quick, I just wanna show you the different plans that vidIQ offers. And as mentioned before, my link to try it is in the description box of this video if you're interested in clicking through to that. But here is the basic breakdown of the different plans. Plan. So you can get started for free, which is called the basic plan. You've also got the next one up, which is pro starting at $750 per month. Then there's the boost plan at $39 a month and max, which is group coaching. And that's a little bit more expensive. I have been on the pro plan for the majority of my time on YouTube, and I found that to be okay for what I need, but I'm probably going to be upgrading to this boost pretty soon because they've added some new features, which I'm really interested in. So the thing is you can get started for free, but the only caveat to that is that if you see down here, the web suite, which is what I just showed you on the website. You don't get the keyword research tool, which is the main thing that I suggest you use vidIQ for. You don't get that on the free basic plan. You just get some basic video analytics, but you do get it if you upgrade to the next one up, that $7.50 per month pro plan. You get the majority of what you need when you're just starting on YouTube on that plan. They also offer a Chrome and Firefox extension, which is a whole other amazing thing that you can do with vidIQ. And of course, you get access to that on any of these plans 
audience. I'm going to actually be creating a video soon just on the vidIQ Chrome extension to show you exactly how that works. So once that video is up and ready, that'll be linked in the description box of this video as well. You can click through to check that out. But you can also see some additional things here if you're wanting to check out and compare the difference between the plans on how many daily ideas you get, how many competitors you can add for each plan, how many trend alerts, things like that. You can come to this pricing page and check out exactly what you get on each plan. I definitely recommend that you start with pros so you can have access to that keyword research tool. And I think it is so invaluable to be able to have access to that and make data-driven and informed decisions as you grow your channel. Well, I hope that was helpful for you, friends. If you did find it valuable, would you consider subscribing to the channel? We release new content on YouTube growth, affiliate marketing, all things passive income every single week so you don't want to miss a thing. Now, if you're interested in some specific strategies and tactics that I've used beyond SEO research to grow on YouTube over the past two years, then you can click or tap on the square on the screen right now and that'll take you over to watch a video all about how to grow and get your first thousand subscribers. Talk soon, friends. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.